comes in now, and we come under, she catches, you know, again, all, a lot of this depends on our distance and the height of the person that's with you. Maybe I can step and get into one of these. We've got the hair, and I can pop, okay? Or I can pull, pull back with this, so we're taking this movement uh, out of the cup of one, two, maybe we're here. Okay. Other options that still sort of come out of him, need on that we can look at. Like, for me, working with her, she's being shorter than me, it probably doesn't make much sense, but if you have a taller person, maybe you're stepping and pulling here, but you're still leveraging that hikite to come in with that ageyuge here. Okay. Uh, the last thing I'll show, uh, same gift line here, is maybe this is just a knife hand block here, but I'm still, I maintain control of that back arm. I don't lose my hikite, I don't relax it here. Okay, one more time. One, two, three. Now I step in, right? Sometimes you might, that might not work for you. You might need to change angles. You know, maybe I step back, okay? Maybe I'm stepping to the side. Okay, that changes things. Now I've got this, I've got my gate on, but I still from the kata here, but I'm maintaining control of that arm. I'm making pressure here. Down okay, block. that doesn't change. So play with the angles, play with stepping in different areas, but you once you get that arm, this one here, once this is here, it's ours now. We don't give it back, right? Okay?